and welcome to another calculus instructional video. This video is about how to find absolute and local minimums and maximums of a function. Up at the top I have a rough sketch of the function x squared plus 4x minus 3. And we are going to find the mins and maxes of it. Alright, since this function is a parabola, we know that it has no absolute maximum. And that's because it's a parabola, and as you can see by here, it continues all, all the way up to infinity forever. And it will not have a maximum. It will, however, have a minimum. In order to find the minimum, we are going to take the derivative of this function and set it equal to zero. And that will give us the x-coordinate of the minimum. So, the derivative f prime of x is going to be 2x plus 4. And then we set that equal to 0 and solve for x. That will give us the x-coordinate of our minimum. So, 2x plus 4 equals 0. Subtract 4 from both sides. Negative 4 equals 2x. Divide through by 2 and get x equals negative 2. And that gives us the x-coordinate of our minimum. Now, to find the y-coordinate, we're going to take this number and plug it back into the original function. We're going to say that y equals negative 2 squared plus 4 times negative 2 minus 3. Negative 2 squared is 4 minus 8 minus 3 gives us a negative 7. So the coordinates of that point there are negative 2, negative 7. And that is how we find the minimum of this function. Now, let's take a look at the example problem. We've got the function x to the third plus 2x squared minus 24x minus 5. In order to find the minimums and maximums, we're going to have to take the derivative, set it equal to 0, and solve for x. Since this is a cubic function, we know that it is going to have a local minimum and a local maximum. Here's the maximum, here's the minimum. However, it will not have an absolute max or an absolute min because this end goes on up to positive infinity and this end goes all the way down to negative infinity. It will only have local maxes and mins. So, let's take a look. We're going to take the derivative of this function f prime of x equals 3x squared plus 4x minus 24. And we're going to set that equal to 0 and solve for x. Now, I don't really want to factor that. I don't think you do either. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. The quadratic formula states that x equals negative b, so negative 4, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that's 16, minus 4 times a, that's 3, times c, that's in negative 24. All divided by 2 times a, which is 3. When we simplify this, we'll get x equals negative 4, plus or minus the square root of 304, all over 6. Now, we just need to figure out which one, those are the coordinates of the local maximum and the local minimum, the x-coordinates. Now, we just need to figure out which one's the maximum and which one's the minimum. Since we have a graph of this function, we can tell that the maximum is going to be the negative 4 minus the square root of 304 over 6. The minimum is going to be the negative 4 plus the square root of 304 over 6. But if we didn't have a graph, we wouldn't know that. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two values of x and plug it back into the original equation. And whichever one gives us the larger number will be the maximum. Whichever one gives us the smaller number will be the minimum.